Hey, it's Jara again. Welcome back to my channel. And today we will be doing top 10 Barbie songs. These are only songs from the older Barbie movies. I'm sorry for this new generation who has to deal with this crap. And I'm sorry if you, anyone out there actually likes some of the newer Barbie movies. That's just my opinion. You have your own and to each their own. But for me personally, I don't like the new crap. I even saw a post once and it was like, um, I feel really sorry for the people who are, um, watching this generation of Barbie movies because I remember when like Barbie movies were like about princesses like um overcoming dif I don't remember exactly what it said but like it used an example like charm school it just seems like uh these new Barbie movies are really conceited and older Barbie movies actually taught valuable lessons to little girls and it was true you know a lot of the Barbie movies out there really taught something special like Princess and the Pauper for example it taught that just because your life is set one way doesn't mean that it has to end up that way with enough drive and passion and determination and you just you can get there on your own without and like island princess taught you that um <clears throat> that just because the world sees you in one way doesn't mean that's really who you are uh diamond cats taught you that you don't need everything to have everything and you know um magic pigs has taught you that your parents don't always know what your future is set out to be and sometimes you have to determine your own fate so see i really love the lessons of the older barbie movies um so let's get started number 10 we're gonna find it diamond castle this song was actually was um, really good, in my opinion. Um, it was after they got on their journey to set mel Melody Free and find the Diamond Castle, and they got to this um, little st um, restaurant, but they didn't have any money, and the um, singers um, were late, so they made a deal that they get food if they see if they sing and calm down the angry customers. He agreed, so that's exactly what they did. And they sang, we're gonna find it. Talking about the Diamond Castle and how they're gonna set Melody free from her imprisonment. And no one knew the true meaning of the song. They just thought it was, you know, beautiful and nice. And it calmed them, everyone down immediately because their voices were in sync and they were. it was so amazing. And they had so much passion because they have real drive to get to their determination and they weren't going to stop. Number nine, here on my island, Princess and the Popper. Okay, I said that wrong. Okay, that's Island Princess. I don't know why I put Princess and the Popper. Okay, anyways, um, this is from Island Princess. Um, this was the very first song and I actually liked it. Um, it's basically um, Ro with her um, best friends, Tika, um, Azul, and I can't remember the red panda's name now. Oh, crap, it's going to annoy me. I'm going to have to look it up after this video is over. Um, and, and I know if someone said it, I would know it. Okay, but um, um, how they were all happy on their island, and yeah, things changed once Ro meets people like her. Cause she didn't know there was anyone like her. She's never met someone like her. And she didn't know there was anyone beyond the island and the ocean. You know, she thought that was it. And, you know, I mean, she got there when she was a little girl and she ha didn't have any memories of her past. And sh so that's all she saw. That's all she thought there was. And that was okay for her at the time. And, yeah, she got curious. But that doesn't mean she didn't love her little island and her family because those animals are her family. You know, she can talk to them, unlike most people. But, and she can understand them, and they're her family. So, even though she got curious about people like her and what's beyond the island, it doesn't change how she feels about the family she grew up with. But she was pretty, pretty much thinking about how, what they do on their island, what their everyday life is like, and yeah. Um, two voices, one song, Diamond Castle. This, um... A lot of the Barbie movies, back then at least, at the beginning would be like, 
Barbie telling a story to a little girl. Um, and um, I usually skip that part. Um, they did that on several things. They did it on Nutcracker. I think they did it on Swan Lake. Uh, I know there's more that I did that with. Um, I don't remember if they did that with Princess the Popper. I don't think so. No, no. I think it just got right into the story. But anyways, um, Diamond Castle was one and then they did that. You know, two friends were hanging out and, um, when one of their little sisters barged in saying she's never going to talk to her best friend again. So they decided to tell her story, which started with a song. So they started singing the song and, um, then it gets to, um, the story where the two main characters, um, are singing the song. And, um... You know, it's one song, but it's two voices. It's about their friendship, pretty much. You know, they had very little, but they had what mattered if they were together. Kind of sort of thing. Um, connected, Diamond Castle. This is a really nice song. Um, shortly after that, they sang another song called Connected. How the two of them are connected, and they always will be, no matter what happens. You know, and yes, things along their journey do almost split them up. But their friendship grew to be stronger than that. And they were able to reconcile and save one another and save Melody and stop. I can't remember the villain's name. And save the Diamond Castle. Um, let's see. Free, free. It's number six. It's Free from Princess and the Popper. I love this song. Um. After it kind of gives you an insight on the story, like what, uh, like about Annalise and Erica, um, it shows um, about like what their lives were like and stuff. It shows Annalise, and she um, looks tired of this whole, you know, of them getting her gown ready and stuff. So she she starts singing as she steps away, and she wants she's singing about how she wants to be free, and then. After she sings a little bit, it goes to Erica, and she's tired of her life as well, so she starts singing about how she wants to be free. Because they're both a lot alike. They both want to be free from their lives, but in different ways. And Elise has everything, uh, so it seems, but she doesn't have what matters. She's not free, and she's definitely not free to choose the man she loves, which is her best friend, Julian. But then here is um, Erica, who wants to be free from being an indentured servant, um, and wants to sleep in and have things done for her because she's had to do everything on her own. So it's like they both want to be free from their, they pretty, pretty much want each other's lives. And I, and it would have been interesting to see, I mean, I absolutely love this movie and I wouldn't change anything about it, but it would have been interesting to have a movie similar to it where, um, it's like the same thing. They both have different lives, but it's like they switch lives temporarily because um, they both come from opposite sides. And I know there are movies like that, you know, like uh, Parent Trap, but that was about them getting their parents together. Um, here, it would just be about them wanting each other's lives to realize what they have is already fine or something like that. I just think that would be really interesting. But I do love this movie, I wouldn't change it for a thing. Um, it's probably, it's definitely one of my favorite Barbie movies. Um, always More, Island Princess. This was a really sweet song. Um, after people, after the kingdom thought that um, Ro had brought a disease, which she hadn't, um, Ro and her animals, um, they locked her up and the um, prince decided to make a deal that he'll marry um, Liliana, I think it's, yeah, Liliana. And um, if they let Ro go back to her island, because he thought she didn't want to be with him because Tika had hit a letter that he wrote for her saying that they should run away but since she never came to meet him she he thought she didn't feel the same way and then when they were on the boat Tiga told Ro the truth and um Ro was like there's always more you know just because you start loving someone else doesn't mean there's any less for people you already loved you know there's always more room in your heart and that's what this song was about about how um, no matter what if she loves the prince or not that she will never stop loving her family Okay, Believe, Diamond Castle. Now, this is um, 
the second to last song. I almost said the last song, but the last song was when they were all dancing in the Diamond Castle. This is when they bring the Diamond Castle up. When they get there, they realize that the uh, that Melody's uh, song was the key to um, uh, uh, revealing the Diamond Castle. So they start singing, and when a, a castle appears, they go on the bridge and um, dresses form. But the song is just really beautiful, and um, I love the meaning too. I love the meaning about a lot of um, Barb songs. It's like, um, believe with all you can be, a miracle starts wherever you are. Believe in all that you can see with your heart, something like that. It's a really nice song. Um, and it's the key to opening the Diamond Castle, which they did. And then, um, when Lydia, when Lydia ca came, uh, they ha they sang the song again to defeat her. And it worked. Because love defeats evil. Just like Twitches, you know? I mean, they found out light was in the um, opposite of dark love was. Three, I Need to Know. Oh, that was, that's, probably, that's definitely my favorite song from, um... Island Princess. It's um, after they. It's the third song. After they um, meet the prince. I don't remember his name. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen these movies. I own some of them. I want to re get them on um, Google Play because when I originally wanted to get them, they weren't on Google Play. So I bought them on DVD, but now they are on Google Play. So I want to get them on Google Play. Um, but, well, but I'm not going to right now. So um, I'll just watch their DVDs right now. But anyways, um, I love, um, and it shows them on the island, and, and Rose starts singing about how she has all these answers, you know, like, all these questions are burning and churning inside me, um, and it's like, she has so many questions and she wants to know the answer she wants to know what's beyond the island what the place where people like her live so so um and then she, she gets on the boat and they start leaving and she keeps singing about how she has all these questions and needs the answers and then the prince starts singing about he has questions too but because she, she stops singing about her, the questions about what's beyond the um ocean but starts singing about her question about the questions she doesn't understand about her feelings when she's around the prince and he starts singing about how he has all these questions about the way he feels when he's around her because she was no nothing because he loved to travel and he she was nothing like any person he's ever met and he was immediately attracted to her because she was different than anyone she ever met she probably wouldn't have i mean she definitely would have been a completely different person if she hadn't been shipwrecked but like i believe everything happens for a reason and that was all meant to happen so she could f meet the animals and she could save the kingdom and meet the prince because none of that would have happened if she hadn't got shipwrecked um but it's just an amazing song and i absolutely love it um number two i'm a girl like you princess the popper obviously um when um erica and annalise meet for the first time um Um, oh yeah, they were astounded by how much they look like, and then when they got to talking, um, they realized Erica is the one that realized it first. She was she realized that they were just alike because they're both trapped in their lives, wanting to be free, wanting to be somewhere else, doing something else, being someone else, and because uh, they feel like they can't be themselves where they are, and um, so Erica starts singing that, and Annalise is all confused at first until Erica starts explaining it in her song, and then Annalise caught on to it and realized that she was right, and they um, both were um, singing and realizing that they are a lot alike, alike, you know? I'm a girl like you. Yeah, I love that song. I don't really want to listen to it. I should find it on YouTube. Um, honorable mentions. Get your sparkle on from Fashion Fairy Tale. Get your sparkle on. Show this world where you belong. I love that song. Uh, this is me from Barbie Diaries. This was the very first song um, when they were practicing. And then note to self from the end of Barbie Diaries, they were singing at the dance. Fall formal, that's what they called it. Um, okay. 
And then number one. Ready? Ready? Drum roll. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Number one is Cats Meow for Princess and the Popper. Obviously. I just absolutely love this song. And what she's saying to Wolfie is just so amazing. And the meaning and her passion. And she loves Wolfie with everything. And Wolfie was trying to change because of the cat he met. Um, what's her name? I can't remember Annalise's cat's name now. But, um, and she, he wanted to be a normal cat by meowing and not barking. And, um, she, and then she was like, you know, Noah's Ark should have had a cat like you. And she just said all these things about how he's perfect the way he is and he shouldn't try to change. He should love him. So, she even said that at one point. She's like, I'm pretty sure she said at one point. She was like, um, the world shouldn't change how they feel about you. You should or not like that, but something like that. And she's just saying, and it's just so amazing and beautiful what she's saying about how Wolfie should feel feel and how he should love himself for the way he is and how he should never ever change who he was because he's perfect the way he is and it's just such a beautiful song and I absolutely absolutely love it definitely 100% the best Barbie song in the entire world I absolutely love it so those are my top 10 Barbie songs please like and subscribe and comment your favorite Barbie songs it can be the older ones or the newer ones if you like the newer movies you know um, and, um, tell me if you agree with my list because I think I'm spot on, especially with number one, because it's just awesome. <laughs> so, um, um, so that's it. I'll see you next time.